it said holiday gifts. You could either win the monkey from Sean or the teddy bear from Leif Garrett. So, of course, I wanted Sean's monkey. <laughs> well, who doesn't want Sean's monkey? Yeah, right? Right. Not Michael Jackson's monkey, it's Sean's monkey. Welcome to the Sean's Quad Society podcast with your host, myself, Penny, Cindy, Dame Madonna, and Doris. Invite you to share our love and enthusiasm for all things Sean Cassidy, from his teen idol days to his recent adventure back on the road again. Please join us for our stories and memories that connected us to those happy days that helped created the Sean's Quad Society podcast. Wow. Welcome back to season two. What a nice little break we had. And we want to thank our listeners for making season one a success, which made it possible for us to come back and have a season two. I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed with season two. We have some surprises up our sleeve. What do you think, girls? We have so much fun coming your way. So many surprises. I say you don't want to miss a minute. Not a single episode. This will be a great season. Yes. And if you're new to the Sean Squad Society podcast, go back to season one so that you're ready for season yep, two. Yeah, you can catch up and listen to all yep. our episodes. Yep. Absolutely. And there's 10, 10 episodes in season ten one. Episodes. Yes. Yeah. In our first one. But yeah, wow, well, this is going to be a great season. I'm yeah, looking, looking forward, forward to it. I am so happy to be back, and I am looking very forward to season okay. two. We're going to be talking about memorabilia today. And while we're talking about our favorite pieces of memorabilia, we want you to think about yours. And we want you to share your favorite pieces or even write a little comment on our um, Instagram, Facebook, Just let us know. We like interaction, so tell us about your favorite memorabilia. We all have treasures. Lots of them. Lots of them. Lots of them. I can't even tell you what Cindy, Doris, and Dame have. (laughs) All my history. 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 Yeah. Yes. Talk about memorabilia. We have a special guest today who has the ultimate memorabilia. So I would like to introduce Dawn from Pennsylvania. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Hi everybody. Dawn. Hi. Welcome to the Sean Squad Society podcast. Thanks for inviting me. So here's what we want to know. How did you win the monkey from Sean Cassidy? Oh, or from Tiger Beat, uh, actually. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, from Tiger Beat. But Sean was holding it at Sean one time. So, yes. Me, yes. Well, before we find out how you want it, maybe you just want to give us a little rundown. What magazine, what issue, it was the Tiger Beat, which issue, Dawn, that said um, when this monkey or... I believe it was like, it said holiday gifts. You could either win the monkey from Sean... Or the teddy bear from Leif Garrett. So, of course, I wanted Sean's monkey. (laughs) (laughs) Well, who doesn't want Sean's monkey? Right? Right. Not Michael Jackson's monkey. It's Sean's Sean's monkey. monkey. (laughs) Hey, I have a question, though. With that, could you pick, like, if you wanted to, like, win from Sean or win from Leif? Or did it just go into a big, like... uh, it went probably into like maybe a barrel yeah, or barrel. something. That's what I was trying to say. Right. And each one of them were was to pick a name. So and did you have like a choice? Did you put on your entry Sean's monkey? So they yes. separated two separate entries. Mm-hmm. So, right. Okay. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yes. So, no. I believe yep. it comes from the magazine, right? You had to cut out a little coupon thing. Yeah. Yes. It was just like a little slip of a, a coupon. <laughs> <laughs> and you put your name, your address, um, and that was it. You sent it in, and Sean would pull a name out of the barrel, and then Leaf would pull a name out for the teddy bear. And all of a sudden, I figured, okay. There's no way I'm going to win this, you know, out of how many thousands of girls, you know, 
Well, I and always used to say somebody's got to win it. It wasn't me. <laughs> exactly. It was Dawn. I didn't right even mail now. mine in. Back then, I was so skeptical. I'm like, I'm not going to mail Yeah, I thought in. the same thing, too. I'm like, you know what? They're going to get so many. I'm not going to try, but good for you, Dawn. Yeah. Well, right. it was so long ago, I don't know if I did or didn't. Yes. <laughs> right, right. But I'm glad I know the winner. Yeah. Well, you always yeah. want to know who the winner was because you're like, yeah. do they really win this or not? Yeah. Yeah, yep, definitely. So, I've had him for 45 years. <laughs> talk to us about how you were notified, where you, how you knew you won, your overwhelmed joy that I'm sure that you felt. Oh, yeah. Um, they actually, the it was called the Lawfer Company at the time, mm-hmm. instead of just Tiger Beat. Um, they sent me a letter. And of course, I saw this and I went ballistic. I went crazy. I mean, I lived with my grandmother and I'm screaming around the apartment and she comes out and says, what's the matter with you? (laughs) And I said, I just won Sean's monkey. (laughs) And I like, the world she thought you lost your mind. Right. You won. Yeah, exactly. A from and <laughs> yeah, exactly. And my grandmother, she just loved Sean as much as I did. Um, so she was just ecstatic. She was going crazy. And if I could do cartwheels around the apartment, I would have. <laughs> How old were you, Don? You were probably like 15, 16, 17. I think I was like I think I was about 14 or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you still have your monkey today, correct? Oh, I sure do. Yeah, yeah that he's monkey never left yeah. your side. Oh, and when when you got the monkey, what was in the box besides the monkey? Anything else? <laughs> um, I think that was maybe about it. And they had just said that they wanted me to take a picture of the monkey and send it into Tiger Beat. Okay. I took the picture, but never saw the picture in Tiger Beat. <laughs> Did Sean send you a note with it? No, nothing. No, no, for nothing, Sean. Nothing. No. no, it was all no. from the law for publication. They they had right. that, that contest under their control. But at least he held That's on to right. it and took a picture with it. And you know he did oh, hold yeah. on to it because there was a picture. <laughs> on the yeah, front cover, exactly. The front cover. Yeah, cover. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What did you oh, name yeah. the monkey? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people ask me that. Um I was going to come up with a couple names. I was actually going to call him Cassidy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and then somebody had said, well, why don't you name him Paul? Uh, there you just, go. Yeah, oh, his okay. middle name. And then, middle name. and then I was going to name him Sean, but I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> give Sean that kind of a <laughs> idea that he's a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> But it's from him, so yeah. And when you're right, 14 right, right. when you want it, you know, you can yep. name him anything you want. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah so, basically. So yeah. as of now, he's still nameless. Basically, yes. <laughs> we I just contest. wasn't sure. Yeah, we, yeah. we should do a contest. Name what Don's monkey. Yeah, <laughs> name Don's monkey. Did, did you um, <laughs> like? Do you dust them and shake them out and give them a little? Mm-hmm. Is he, on your, oh, is he sitting on your definite. bed every night? Uh, yeah. uh, actually, he's on a shelf in, in the room. Oh. Okay. So, and he has all uh, the fan club's uh, memorabilia, the buttons. So, you know, and with when Janet. When you say the fan club, you mean the Sean Cassidy, Sean Cassidy Facebook yes. group, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people there. Because he did have a fan club back then. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, that is so amazing that you, I do that too. I have stuff and we're going to talk later. We all do that. We kept for decades, yeah. decades, longer than some marriages. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. just, that's, that's our joke. How near and dear this stuff was to us. And no one was ever going to pry that monkey away from you, I'm sure. Oh, no. Let them try. <laughs> <laughs> Don, is that your favorite memorabilia from? Yes, okay. definitely. Absolutely. And when I went to his concert in 2019 at uh, Washington, D.C., mm-hmm. I brought that monkey with me. <laughs> and where did the monkey go? Uh, backstage? He, did you get backstage? Well, kind of, yes. Um, a friend of mine from another group 
she actually knew Sean and she spoke to Tracy. She actually spoke to the kids, Marin and Lila at the time. And when you say Tracy, I hate to keep doing this, but Sha- not everyone knows. So Tracy, Sean's okay, wife, Sean's and his wife, daughter right. Marin and his daughter Lila. Yes, right. Uh, she had talked to Tracy and Tracy said to her, yeah, sure, you could come backstage because Sean and Nancy were friends, you know, throughout the years back in their days. Um, so I'm like, I'm shaking inside. OK, I'm about ready to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all but I said, I got to hold it together <laughs> when we met Sean. <laughs> That's a normal reaction of us fans. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I, we got back there and I, my eyes are just like fixed on them. <laughs> I, bet. I couldn't look at anything else. <laughs> yeah, there's Sean, like there's Sean. That's, in your head, you're like, there's Sean. He's there right he in front of me. He's right in front yeah. of me. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanted to get a picture of him um, with the monkey and myself. But after a little while, uh, they had to go and because uh, the kids had to go to bed and whatever. So I just didn't get my chance to get a picture with them. Well, so, you know what, but, Dawn? Memories mm-hmm. of whatever you had are your memories. And that's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. Right. Like I have missed right. a couple of photo ops myself, but I have mm-hmm. the memory. And it lives in my head, and there, there it is. Yeah, and yes. that's how we're doing favorite memorabilia today. Yeah, favorite memories. Yeah. yeah. Do you oh, have yeah. any other memorabilia that you've kept all these all of these years? Um, that I think was basically it. I think that was basically the major major one. That's huge. <laughs> I never huge, thought huge. I would meet the lady virtually or however who won that monkey. I still have that tiger beat. I, I do too. Have it. I do too. And my oh, I do too. Is I do too. Still in the magazine with my name and everything. I never sent it. Oh, and, I better check oh, mine. My goodness, because I just didn't feel like you know what all these thousands and thousands of entries. It's it's hard right. to figure out, but somebody wins. And when you did win and send your picture back to them, did they put you in the magazine with your picture? No. Uh, they were supposed to, but they didn't. I oh. never saw it. Because I would go back yeah. and follow up and look for that, but you don't think they did? I don't think so, because all I know, it was probably um, the Christmas issue. I want to say, well, I won it in 78, so it was in December. So I would think they would have done it January of 79. Oh, I'll have to go back and look. I'm thinking either that issue or the next issue after that. Right. They wouldn't yeah. have gone too far. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What other contest was there for him? Did he do any other contests that you can remember? There was a contest. I know. Mm-hmm. remember. And I know I sent mm-hmm. this one in. Yeah. That mm-hmm. Sean would come to your city and spend a day with you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and I had it all planned out. What we were going to do and where oh, we were going to eat and where we were going to shop. And, and of course, my dad was going to have to drive us around. Of course. And yeah. Sean and I were going to sit in the back seat, you know. Of course, your I mean, dad, not Sean's people, your dad. <laughs> my dad. Would have been driving been driving us, us around. Yeah. And, you know, and we'd be in the back seat together. <laughs> <laughs> holding but, hands. Yeah, holding hands, of course. But that one, I do remember sending in. Okay. Well, Dawn, this was so much fun. Yes. Thanks for sharing yeah, that story. Yeah. And I'm so glad yeah. to finally talk to you, you know, right. vocally. Yeah. We, we yes, me too. The, me too. Sean Cassidy fan convention Facebook group all the time. Right. Right. And don't yeah. give up on getting that sign, that monkey sign for him, because he's still around. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I st- I'm still. Hoping that I'll get that picture one day. Don't hope. <laughs> yeah, he's still touring. <laughs> Believe it. You Believe will it. Achieve yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. You get. Keep bringing yeah. that monkey with you. You never yeah. know. And oh, thank yeah. Thank you so oh, much yeah. for your support and everything oh. on our podcast. And I I read your comments and thank you very, very much for, for all of your support. Yes, oh, and you're very welcome, and thank you for having me. Yeah, and thanks. Yeah, thanks for taking time out of your day to spend a few minutes with us. We really appreciate it. 
Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay. Have All right, a great Dawn. rest of your day, Dawn. Take care of that monkey. Okay. Yep. Oh, I okay. will. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye now. Thanks. Bye, Dawn. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, Cindy, I'm going to flip a quarter and think you might have the most or maybe well, the most organized. Could be closer to the most organized. <laughs> yeah, most organized I'm going to go with. So tell us about well, yours. Nice. All right, of course, I have all the posters and the records and everything like that, of course. But my favorite memorabilia has to be from the concerts I went to because that's where I got things that I don't know if everybody would have. Um, I went to the Chicago concert back in 78. And um, I mentioned this before in another podcast, my friend got backstage pass and she went backstage. I didn't know she did, um, but she brought me back this press package, I guess it's called, where you hand out to the people with the press at yeah, the concert. Maybe it- they thought she was. Yeah, maybe she. they thought she was with the press, but it's a packet. It's a it's a folder and it has different press releases in it. You know how he sets records. Uh, Sean Cassidy sets first U.S. tours, uh, weekends to be spent in 12 cities. That was another section. Uh, there's another one called Cassidy Gold, where they talk about his gold records. And then there's just a general background of Sean and his life and how he became who he was now. And it also came with some black and white pictures of the band which is nice i never seen this before and then uh eight by ten glossy of sean just a you know this photo um yeah the yeah like the the headshots. Headshots. Are, are they, they signed concert? any uh, of those signed no these are not signed well, these are all eight by ten glossies and they those were all in that packet it's all in the packet that oh you give God. to like um radio stations magazine press magazine yeah. yeah newspaper newspaper that was their press release yeah. And there's one of him in concert, um, another headshot, and then there's, um, well, this one might be extra with Sean and, and uh, Parker. Parker, yeah, that oh might God. be for something else, but this had all Sean in it. So that was my prized possession that I still have, and um, yeah. I well, that, that is a prized possession, because yes. not yeah. everyone has a press package. I've never seen anybody have it before, so I hold on to this one. This is very special, even though I didn't get to go backstage I got the press release. Well, that's a treasure in your in itself, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. And then my backstage pass I still have from back then. I also have a backstage pass from Alpine Valley. Alpine Valley was special because I got to meet him at that one. And I got to go backstage. And my prized possession from that one is this picture I drew of him. It looks um, just like oh my God, Cindy. Not, you drew that? Yep. Yeah. There's a, Didn't yeah. you sign it, Cindy? Yes, I drew this picture in high school, and I always want to be ready yeah. when I go to a concert. I didn't know if I was going to meet him or not, but I brought the picture with me, not knowing. And um, for some reason, my friend's sister got us some backstage passes. So I took this picture that I drew, and uh, he signed it. Yeah, wow, was he impressed with that? He would have had to have been so impressed. He was, but oh, did he, was... he want to keep it? I thought he wanted to keep well, it. Well, I actually admit, I actually drew two. I gave him one, okay. and I got one signed. But he was very rushed back there. He couldn't like sit and have conversations yeah. with you. So I put it in front of him, and he said, oh, is this mine? I said, no. And then you give him a copy. I said, no, but I have a copy here in this envelope, so I gave that to him. But, yeah, that's my prized possession from there because I had no idea I was going to meet him, but I was ready. That was in uh, 78. Well, one second, Missy. I just want to say. <laughs> exactly, right? I, I'm honored that you do our podcast with us, and I love every minute of yes. it. But with that art- artistic ability. I know. What Look in the that. world were you Okay, not- well, I'll back up. In our class, we were supposed to do this project where you took a picture out of a magazine, and you wrote, uh, you did vertical lines to make the picture. So I did a fair faucet picture. And I thought if I could do half the page, I could do the whole page. And then I'm thinking... Well, I don't even need the lines. I'm going to try to just draw a picture from looking at the picture. So I would flip it up and draw underneath it what I saw. And that's how I came to have Sean's picture. Ah, I mean, so you, get every just like feather, him. you get every I feather you get in this hair. You know, it's perfect. I mean, well, seriously. So many times I've asked Cindy, you know, because she's always going out of her way for us. And I ask her if I can give her something that Sean has signed, maybe that I bought on eBay or something. And she'll tell me, no, no, I already have a signature. So she's very yeah. proud of that particular Yeah, I never signature. needed it again after he signed mm-hmm. this. Yeah. She loved yeah. that. I never that needed it again. made it special. Yeah, so I have that. And then, of course, my backstage pass from Alpine Valley, too, which I've always kept. So those are special to me. Plus the mm-hmm. concert memorabilia you get. There's him in the newspaper I've kept. I kept the newspaper articles, which was pretty cool. That, that one is so, so cool. You know, I have all of those. 
And you're going to help me organize my... Oh, I will. Yeah. Um, this was March 27, 1978, Chicago Tribune. There was an article, a huge article about him. I mean, this picture of him is big in there, don't you think? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the picture that came out after he did his International Amphitheater Show. This is the International Amphitheater Show. No, I just said Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> this is... Okay. Yeah, this is dated Monday, so I guess I went on Saturday. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And wow. Then, and it's course. titled, Sean, They Cried. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, They Cried. And then the other page showed a different perspective from Sean being on stage to everybody in the audience. But, of course, I can't find myself in this picture. So, Well, you can't be seen in every picture there. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it She's was just packed. on the cover <laughs> right <Yeah>. now. <laughs> this, this, this place was packed. So uh, lots of good memories with that. And then one more special one that I have is... My pillowcase, which I think I mentioned in another podcast I got from the record store at Montgomery Wards, it was a promo and they had stuff hung up of his first album and there was a pillowcase hanging from it. And I don't have the other posters anymore, but I kept that silk pillowcase. It's a little bit worn, but... It's the original. I mean, I didn't use it. It's a little bit old. and <laughs> I was going to say, Cindy, we no, don't need to go there. I never used it on my pillow. I always kept it safe in a box, but it's just old now. So it's just kind of worn from ages. Yeah, yeah hers looks good. Mine, look, mine looks worn out. Yeah, it's it's old. So what do you expect? So right. that's really the special no, stuff I have. But um, you what's your stuff, it. Dame? Oh. Well, I have too many things, as you guys all know, from my closet. Uh, but I actually have four things that mean a lot to me. There's stories with these four. And the first one, of course, is my little toy guitar. Um, I took it with me the last time I went to Arlington, and that's where I met Sean, and that's where I got this little guitar um, signed. Well, when I met him, I was so nervous and I was shaking that I offered the little guitar to him, and I said, you can give this to your kids. And he said, no, no, save it for your family. And at that time, I realized, you know what? He really is a kind person to even say that because I, he could have just taken it. And I thought it was was priceless. And then what really meant a lot to me is when it came back signed after the manager took it back to him. Well, the manager actually came back and he goes, no, no, Sean doesn't want to sign anything because he knows that you'll sell it on eBay. And I told the manager, I said, I will not go back and ask him again. <laughs> So he went back and asked him, and this time it came back to me, and it said, um, XO, love Sean, and I wanted to melt. It was so special. And so I liked that that guitar so much, even though it's a toy, that my husband went and framed it for me and put some of my other favorite things around it. Oh. So I know I know that's a little ridiculous, but no, that's how much it means. No, it sounds precious. That sounds so precious, Dame. I think you yes, sent us a, a picture box. of it. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> what I was going to say to Cindy when she was talking about her pillowcase. She should put uh -huh. it like in a shadow box or yeah, something right. so that it does save or stay preserved. Yeah. Well, I yeah. did do some st steaming to it to get wrinkles out today, but yeah, yeah it's yeah. good to frame these things. Yeah. I have mine in my office while I'm teaching. From I'll ask school. my husband if I can frame it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Have him do it for you. For your, yeah, right above our headboard. <laughs> right, special right. occasion. Well, right. actually, speaking of that, one of my favorite things is is I wake up in the morning. There it is. It's framed. <laughs> well, that's really one of cool. My, one of my favorite posters, and not just the Magic of the Midnight Sky ones. I have those framed and signed too. But it's the one that I had from when I was a kid. But I'll tell you guys about that one in a couple minutes. But my next favorite piece, you guys want to hear another one? Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's my blue satin jacket. And I've talked about that on my dame's closet. It's one of the things that fell out. But oh, I think I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it so much as a child. Well, I lived in Northern California. And I was fortunate to live by the ocean, but my parents were very poor. They were hippies. They lived off the land. And I only got two new outfits a year. But I had neighbors that had property near our property, and they would come to visit from L.A. And when they would come to visit, they would bring me boxes of hand-me-downs of clothes. And it just happened to be that there was a jacket in there that had Sean's picture on the back. It was a satin jacket. And I remember wearing that to school and the kids looked at me like, how did you get that? Where did you get that? <laughs> it was your lucky day. Yes. <laughs> it was. Oh, and I, I love that piece so much that when I lost it somewhere through my life, I knew I had to replace it. And when I found it on eBay, I wanted it really bad. 
so bad that I had to buy three of them. Oh, <laughs> dang. You got one three, for each of us? Three of them. <laughs> well, they're my favorite. It's my favorite oh, piece goodness of clothes. Gracious. I used I know. to want that jacket more than anything when I was yes. a kid. I wanted that Me jacket. too, but now I never got it. you have three of them, dang? <laughs> I have three of them, and the one, there's one that almost fits me, actually. And these are different sizes? Yes. One oh, is like for right. 10, 12, and the other one's for like size 14. Oh, really? And the size 14, I can almost get on, so I may take a picture with it and say, nope, this is really me. I actually have it on. But I did <laughs> take a cute. picture of a I know one of my students wearing one, and I have that in my set of pictures. My kids are so sick of hearing about Sean Cassidy uh, that there was another concert going on, and this the mother to the kids asked me if I wanted to go to this musical with them. And her child said, no, no. All Miss Dame likes is Sean Cassidy as far as singers. <laughs> yeah, so that's one you're going to. Yep. Yes, Hilarious. and they like wearing my little Sean Cassidy jacket. Well, so hey, that's a very special yes. piece. Have you played your um, cassette for them yet? Well, I play songs for them, but my cassette, my little cassette, my favorite little piece, it's actually in that shadow box with my guitar. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's a great place it, for it. it. Yeah. It had to be in there. So you want to hear more about that? <laughs> well, well, sure. It's, Okay, well, that when I was a child, as I already told you, I didn't have a lot, and I thought it was, talk about a lucky day. For Christmas, I received one of those little players, you know, that you hold the handle, you walk around with. Yes, it was well, a box, a little yes. square. Yeah, we all, well, I, we all had one of those, yep. But that was a big deal for me to get one of those, and my parents liked uh, Bob Dylan, I actually have a picture of them in Bob Dylan's house, but they liked Bob Dylan, so I had to get a Bob Dylan tape. But I didn't really like it as much as I did my Sean Cassidy tape. So I had two tapes. The other one was Sean Cassidy. Um, and so I took that player and I went with one of my best friends and we used to walk around with that tape playing. And I thought I was really cool when I played it. Well, For some reason, I remember walk, <laughs> walking around thinking I was <laughs> big yes, stuff. That was cool Listen, to walk around with Sean playing yeah. on your... I mean, like your blue satin jacket, your pink cassette player, your Sean cassette tape. Well, Walking and I told the you beach. a little bit about the poster. Okay, the poster, I, I liked that poster so much. And the kids at school knew that I was the one out of the whole public school that liked Sean Cassidy the most. Well, my favorite, other favorite piece of memorabilia is that poster. And I have looked and looked on eBay for it, but I did find it. And this was the poster I used to keep on my wall that I'd wake up to every day. Is it the full well, length poster? No, I have that one too, but the one that I like the most reminds me of my childhood, and I had a hard childhood at times, and I remember looking at that poster, and it just looked angelic almost to me. Well, tell um, us which poster. Give us a little description. Well, I can. You know the box that the, the Joe Hardy comes in? You know on the back there's a poster, a picture of Sean? Yes, and he's like in this Hawaiian shirt type of thing. Yes. Oh, that, yes. Yes. That poster has been on magazines. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I love that poster. Well, this one is a huge poster. I don't know how to describe the size, but it's much bigger than eight by 10, uh, about three, four times that size. And I went and had it framed. But the embarrassing part was that after I bought it and I went to check out to pay for it, my son was standing there with me. And the lady asked me if that was a picture of my son. Oh, <laughs> so my God. That was, that was a little weird. But it's still up on my wall. And I do have, like I said, the two of Magic of a Midnight Sky. And those are signed. I hope he signs more posters for his future concerts. But I was fortunate to get a couple of those. So those are on my wall. But I also have the one of when he was my son's age on the wall because of the memory from when I was a kid. Well, and those are great memories. Definitely My husband great kind memories. of rolled his eyes when he knew how much I paid to have it framed. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Like 20 but, times hey, the amount listen. of the poster. <laughs> hey, but, but those are great memories and you want to keep them safe. That's yeah. for sure. Yes. And it's it's up there with the camp. Yeah. The cat can't mess with it. Nobody else can either. Yeah. It's up there for good. <laughs> it's, yeah, it is safe. It's staying there. Yeah. Well, I think Doris is going to share some of her memorabilia with us right now. Okay. Well, my memorabilia... It's not really anything from a magazine or a newspaper. Well, it is from newspapers. But when I was a kid, any time in school, any time, and I was in high school, so this is a little embarrassing for me 
Because you, you hear now that all the girls, all the women are saying, oh, I was eight, I was 10, I was in love with Sean Cassidy when I was 12. 12. I was 12. And I'm like, I was, I was eight. 15, even, 16. Me too, because even Sean asked me one time, were you eight or nine? I'm like, no, I was 14. So <laughs> I, it's a little embarrassing, but not much, because, hey, there I was. And at my school, every time uh, in modern history class, they asked us to write an article. My article was about Sean Cassidy. Why not? I kid you not, because I saved all of my modern history class papers, and I brought them today, and I have the original newspaper article. Cindy could read the uh, headline. And they're all yellow, too, so you yes, know how so old it is. Yes. Because I can't preserve as well as you, Cindy. You're going to have to help me. Oh, some I wanted, of mine's yellow. I wanted yeah. the girls to put on those gloves you wear at the museum when <laughs> you got white a touch gloves, artifacts. Yeah. I'll hold it delicately so, so it doesn't crumble. Cindy, you can right. read the first one. And, uh, okay, do you want me to read the heading of it? The headline, yeah. Stevenson worried about being a star. Now, that's Parker, right? Right, but yeah. Sean's in the picture with them, so yes. it was about Parker, which is kind of related to Sean. Exactly. And There's our six degrees for the day. Everything's related to <laughs> Sean that, that we do. It comes okay. back to Sean. What was the, and then I had, uh, what grade did I get on that paper? You got, where is it? Oh, open it back up. It's See it right there? B plus. No. B a plus? B plus? I thought they always gave you these oh, minuses because it was. Too. Oh, you did too. Okay, yes, because okay. on this page it says A. I well a done. A, well done. And then I had one. From Sean, Sean Cassidy, two careers at the age of 18. And that was from Tuesday, August the 2nd in the Chicago Sun-Time. And I got a B plus on that one. I don't know why she didn't like me so much. But a plus for me. Just so you guys know, we had to cut the article out, and then we had to write a little synopsis. Okay. And that's what I did. And then the last one I have. Don't let that touch the ground. The last one I have is really not about Sean, but it's from the same year. It's from uh, November 1977, and it's called uh, David Cassidy Comes Back to Pursue an Acting Career. And that's also from the Chicago Sun-Times, and it's got the article. And I wrote my little paper on the back. I wrote my paragraph or two. And um, I don't have a grade on that one. Uh, look at, look at I'll the, give you an A. Look at, was the one on the back? No? A plus. No. Anyway, I used to write all of my newspaper articles about the Cassidy's, and I saved every one of them. But then I got to write a narrative. They wanted us to write a narrative in school, and my narrative was called My Teen Idol. And this thing is like 100 pages long. Actually, yes, it's it long. is. It's long. <laughs> it tried really to read is. it. And she but, wrote small. Yeah. When I had to write things like that, I made sure it was big. <laughs> Take up room. <laughs> and we didn't Take type it back then. It's handwritten. And I really kind of again feel embarrassed because there I was writing about Sean Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> in high school, but I got an A on it. So I was wearing the T-shirts, and you were doing all the uh, writing. Writing, yeah. yeah. So well, combination, we covered it all. My, That's what I was thinking. Yeah, prize, and I was just wanting to be a singer. My prize, <laughs> prize possession, you guys. When I was a, a kid, I used to want to write poetry. So I, I used to say, one of these days, I'm going to learn how to write poetry. And I think writing those newspaper synopsis all through high school was my lead up to being a, a poet in my own rights. So one day in 1977, after the Hardy Boys debuted, I wrote a poem and I saved it from all of this time. It was the very, very first poem I wrote. I woke up in the middle of the night and turned the light on in my room. I shared the room with my sister. She was like, turn the light off. I'm like, nope, got it right. Got it right. Got it right. So and we I'm, have an artist and a poet and in the I podcast. Wrote, yeah, that's true. That, I that is some, amazing. And I am a published poet, but not so much that is so great. But my very first poem, I'm going to read it to you guys really, really fast. And this is why I think it's kind of silly because it's a 1978 
me writing this. And the poem Precious. is called Sean, and it starts on the 27th day of September in 1958. A child was born a little too late. I first saw him in January of 1977. When I looked at his face, I thought I was in heaven. Yes. My mother thinks it's crazy to be in love with him. But as far as mothers go, who really listens to them? He is the <laughs> most beautiful person I ever did see. And I watch yep. him every week on a Hardy Boys mystery. Not only does he act, but he sure can sing. And when I, I never leave my seat when I hear Teen Dream. You see his face on every on almost every magazine cover. And most people identify him as David's younger brother. Even though he lives miles and miles away, I would really love to meet him someday. I'm not the only girl who's in love with this guy. Why, there's lots of girls who think the same as I. Not only do I think of him, I dream of him too. Especially the one when I turn to this guy and say, I do. In recent interviews, he said, I plan to be around for a long, long time. He won't have to worry about fans love because he'll always have Aww. mine. Who is this guy that I'm writing this poem on? Well, you should have guessed that his name is Sean. Oh, it's very nice. I, I love that. I couldn't have yeah, wrote that. No. Yeah. And what were you, 14, you said? I wrote this in 78, so yeah. Yeah, I was a little older than yeah. your 10, Talented, 12. no wonder. Yeah. yeah. Can I read you a line from your My Teen Idol paper? Why not, Cindy? I like this line. It says, but I still find myself looking for certain characteristics in guys who ask me yes. out. Yes. Characteristics that Sean had. He was my best friend for four years. Yes. Very oh, nice. I love that. <laughs> okay. Well, when I was in high school, poor guys. I had to, the only guys I would date were the ones that had feathered hair. <laughs> and oh. I think it was the Sean thing. Even when I was a child, as, as I would grow up, I didn't care how cute they were. They better ha have the feathered hair, the Sean Cassidy haircut. I actually dated somebody and I told him how to do his hair. And he told me to this day, he still does his hair that way. Oh, dear. With, well, it's almost back in I style. I don't know. Yeah, it I, was in style back then. Yeah. I think but it was a big deal to me. There was one boy I dated. And they made him cut his hair very short because in the academy I went to, they had to have short hair. Well, after I saw his new hair, I wouldn't even sit by him in the lunchroom. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. The look was gone. Yeah. I think we so something all, about the hair. we all, and I know I did it because I wrote about it in that paper. We all put ourselves in a position to try to find guys that were like Sean. Oh, yeah. Was that impactful yeah. one. Yeah. Had to have the eyes, the hair, the look, the swing. Well, my yeah. first boyfriend didn't look like him, but I got my first boyfriend because of Sean, because everybody teased me in school. He was the only one that protected me from the teasing. From from the t-shirts? Yes. From my constant <laughs> t-shirts every one. day. He's like, I like Sean Cassidy. There's nothing wrong with that. Can I can I walk you home? And then he became my boyfriend. Aw. Well, that's cute, too. That's yeah. a cute So memory. he always supported my, my teen yeah. dream. That was yeah. nice. That was really cute. Well, Penny, I'm yeah. sure you have some great memories or memorabilia stuff. Well, I don't have what you guys have from my childhood. Who knows? I think it got maybe trashed between husband one and two you know, <laughs> or something. But Or even in a move. I don't know. Right. Yeah, I lost some of mine in a move, too. Yeah. But, I mean, I do have, you know, like we talked about before, you know, Cindy gave me some albums. Dame had given me the... um. And I brought him with today. Ooh, I gave you the doll. Cutie. Joe, what is it? Joe Hardy. Joe doll. Hardy doll. No, uh -huh. that's a Sean Cassidy doll, Sean, I think. I think it's a Sean Cassidy dame, isn't it? They didn't market oh, okay. the doll as the Hardy Boys, I don't think. No, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's, I think it's just. I gave you the Sean Yeah, the doll. Sean Cassidy doll. Even though I think doll. there is a Parker doll. I think I saw that somewhere. There is a Parker doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the Parker doll, too. Hey, I do have to go back to Doris's poem real fast. Because where you mentioned a boy came a little too late. Yeah, in the poem, you know, in September 20... Yep. Uh, uh, September 20, 1958, a child was born a, a little, little too, too late. late. I read, when I was doing research and stuff, that Sean actually came a month late. His he Oh, came, I read that too. Yeah, that he, he came a month later than his expected due date. Well, that would be a big yeah, baby Yeah, I then. read that. 
<laughs> so, and the reason I wrote it is because he always yeah, told so us this, when he did born late, he right. felt he was born late. He should have been he a fifties kid, right? Yeah, he liked the yeah, sixties music, songs. yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I know why you why you wrote it, but yeah, I just like it. That's, I remembered reading that when I was doing some research. That well, see, yeah, I, I was knew neat. that. That's, yeah, I, you know that. You know that when you were fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But back to some of my favorite things. You know, besides what the girls have gifted me and everything. I mean, I have my towel that I got. And yes, Nashville. we were all witness to that. Yeah, oh, oh, very tell special. Us about yeah. the tell us what happened with the well, towel. I mean, you guys probably heard the story. We saw yeah. it. Well, well, you guys yeah. were there. Well, we were there. Who took yeah. your pictures? Who took the pictures of you? <laughs> well, a lot of people did, but I know Jerry did take some and... You know, um, some of the girls know. in the audience. Yeah, yeah, some of the girls in the audience. We got video. And, we yeah. have video. Okay, of it. you yeah. guys. We have followers who have no idea what you're talking about, so <laughs> well, you have to tell. I'll us. tell. We were in Nashville, and Sean had just, I don't know, did his solo, solo show. His solo show, mm -hmm. but in the middle of it, he's like, "Well, these lights are hot, and there's no stack of towels Sweaty. here." So I'm like, oh, wait, here. And I had a napkin, you know, because we were sit, sitting at round tables, I think. And they had them set because we could order food. So I tossed a napkin up to him. And he's like, oh, thank you. So he's wiping his face and his hands and everything. And I go to sit down. And he goes, oh, don't sit yet. Here, you can have it back. And like I tossed remember. it back to me. I think we all felt the same way. Like, like what? You can have it back? Yeah. What? And I didn't expect that at all. No. I mean, that was just like. That was a shocker. Oh, yeah. That was like but frosting on the. You. Well, that was frosting on the cake. But at the first show in Chicago at the city winery, I he was walking by shaking hands. And I've told this story before. So I apologize to keep repeating. And I asked him for a selfie, and he said yes. So those are two two stories that will stay but with me quick. forever. And then, where, where is your napkin to this day? Yeah, where's your napkin? Oh, it's at home in a special she place. She wants him to sign yeah. it. Yeah, he needs to sign it for her. Yeah. Don't clean the house with it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have it sealed and everything, and with some other Shadow stuff. Box. You know, I have um, ticket stubs, and you know, from but you don't get ticket stubs really anymore. You get a print off some if of you them. if you print it at all. Yes. True. Exactly. You know, so now you don't right. get keepsakes like that. Well, you can and... go to the box office oh. and actually ask them to give yeah. you. Oh, yeah. I never yeah, thought I of that. that. We'll have yes, to do that. You yeah, can do that, and they will mm -hmm. give yeah. you their ticket. You know, and then yeah, I have those in my shadow box. Yeah, you know, so I have a you know handful of magazines, and someday I might start going on eBay or something and buying a few things. Yeah. But but I kind of feel like I don't need to because I can yeah. live. <laughs> I have all my original <laughs> posters that were in my room back right. then. They were all put in a folder. Now I have them organized. They're all in plastic sheets, protected. I have all right. those posters that were in my room. Right. The whole room was covered. Even right. the ceiling. Oh my God. I remember, yeah, because, you know, my sister and I shared a room and we had bunk beds. And so like on one side of the wall, I had like Parker and Scott Bale and a few other people, but on the ceiling, I, you know, could see <laughs> Sean, you know, so like, so we're, was but wherever I rolled, you know, I yes. needed to see Sean. So if I rolled over, he was, he was on the right, he was on the left, and he was, you know, <laughs> on top. One. But yeah, I miss I have all those. All of that stuff that you have, Cindy, mm -hmm. but it's just in a big, huge box. I know. We're going to have a party, Doris. We're going to have a party. Mm -hmm. We're going to we get talk, it all organized. Yeah, if we talked about all our memorabilia, we'd be here for hours. For hours. And days. Oh, yes. I mean, that's how much we have. Yeah. My kids are tired of it, but that's okay. They understand. Well, you know, pick out a few special things that mean something to you. Makes mom happy. Keep it close to your heart. Well, that was fun talking about everybody's memorabilia. Oh, that was great. I know. And you know what's going to be really fun? Reading everything, reading all the comments when the listeners, oh, yeah. you know, what's their write favorite? in and tell us about their favorite, what you know, favorite? or even send us, send us an email. Yeah, yeah send us an what's email. Stories? And what's her email, Doris? Sean Squad Society at gmail.com. Yes, it is. And then also send us pictures with your memorabilia. We'd love to see those. Yes. And what unique item do you have that? Right. Just heard Dawn from Pennsylvania just told us her story with her mem favorite memorabilia. I think I'm still jealous. Oh, so jealous. I, I mean, it. wins the monkey, Sean's the monkey. monkey. Maybe she'll let us hold it one day. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, you know, she's so far out east, and then we're, you know, right in the middle of the Midwest, well, you know, for us to even... United at a concert. You never know. You never know. know.
Thanks, listeners, for being a part of today's episode as we went down memory lane. Please join us next time for another episode of Sean's Quiet Society. Thank you from the bottom of our teen dream hearts. Keep on crushing. Always believe in magic. And have a peaceful, shantastic week. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. And make sure to keep in touch with us on our email. Sean Squad Society at gmail.com. The Sean Squad Society podcast, including past, present, and future versions, and its contents are owned and controlled by the Sean Squad Society. The views and opinions are solely those of the Sean Squad Society podcast. The Sean Squad Society is written and produced and recorded at the Borden Studios. We may think we are always right, but we will get something wrong from time to time. So we assume no responsibilities or errors of submissions of content.